Snake wasn't that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay down, bounce back, I'ma be okay Said I'm still a making these money moves I'm a fucking boss Making sure my name was mentioned at the end of the day was my main intentions. The popos promoted gang prevention. I was popping at the ops, not paying attention. A and SK hanging extensions, whipping them chickens. I stayed in the kitchen. Believe that crime pays in the pension. Been out the pictures since my days in detention. Making maneuvers through mazes and missions. Magical movements, amazing magicians. Mama used to say, pray for wisdom. Shut up a couple prayers on my way to prison. Backyard boogies be banging functions. Hard to hang in the hood. We got a gang injunction. Trade from young niggas trying to trade me too. He's at the coding that 40, my favorite food. They counted me out. They should not count me in. Cause I'm still I'm counting these Benjamins. Take a loss. Stay down. Bounce back. I'ma be okay. Said I'm still I'm making these money moves. I'm a fucking boss. That's the one. DA. The number one available on all digital platforms. Go on and tap in uh, for the luck on that right there, y'all. Oh, my mama, mama, you know what I, uh, I had meant to mention? Let me do this first. Oh, yeah, this is what I had meant to mention. Uh, remember I told y'all early, early on in the broadcast that there was something I was downloading behind scenes, right? I got it done. And I want to shout out, matter of fact, let me get cuz, cuz I respect anybody that uh, is willing to invest in themselves, man. And these days, you find so many individuals that hit you up, and their initial question is, how much, right? For whatever they're talking about, it's how much. I'm going to keep it a goal, cuz it's at all costs uh, with me. And y'all realize. And Baymac, it's be about your money at all costs. When I say yeah, it's not yours. I'm telling you or telling myself be about my own money at all costs. So, my mother get at me about what it's going to cost or anything. My mind is not on what you got if I have no idea who you are. Typically, especially when I look at the followers, I assume, you know. But I can't treat you just based on what you got. I have to have an idea of what I want. So, I have a range, and just based on what I might feel, I give it. You know how rare it is. The most common response is to how much. And it's either for a feature, review my music, an interview, and the most con no matter what, how, I learned this, no matter how low ball you go your price, which it'll never be for a feature, no hundreds, right? Not saying it never has been. And then I had them days, the right person asked you, you shoot that thawi or that whatever you want to put on top of it on there at whatever point in your life you think you want to get that. And when they say, uh, I ain't got that, and your next answer, like, what you got? It's been days where I was been willing to take whatever nigga asked. So I done did some low ball a long time ago, right? But we way past those days. So the typical answer when you say a number is, oh, I'm going to hit you when I get my money up, no matter how low you get it, right? So... When somebody hit you say, even if it's for product, I mean for a song review, which y'all see is not something we do around here. And the only reason we're not more active in doing things such as song reviews is because I typically would assume doing a song review, I would play the music, we would all hear it together, and then I would assess it and give my honest opinion. However, you realize the only music I play on here is my music, not just all of my music, only music that I have the masters to own the rights to because we continuously, consistently, and constantly run into copyright um, situations when we play random music because music is all about being monetized these days and depending upon who monetized or who has the masters to the actual um, production, you can run into issues. So therefore, I've learned to stick to uh, a strict playlist. However, when you say a number trying to scare people that's BS in a way when they ask you how much for a song review and then they get at you like, all right, you think that's it. And then less than 72 hours later, you get a cash app. And just hear, y'all be hearing how my shit go off. 
you don't know who it is, and then you see what it is, and, and it was serious. So it's like, I got a salute, cause I'm gonna show y'all his handle, cause I don't know, cuz. DBR Mac Dallas, I'm gonna go to his page and give y'all a good look at it. I should have done a little bit this, I should have had this ready to upload. But we finna check out a record he sent us. I wanna salute you, Mac Dollar, for um, being, excuse me, y'all, um, uh, humble enough to, and confident enough to not only to approach, but then to um, invest in yourself. And he wanted me, uh, what he requested, y'all, was for me to review his record. I respect him also because he didn't ask me to put the fix in. He didn't ask me, can I pay you to make good comments about my record? He wanted us to review it, and we're going to review it honestly. And um, we gonna, I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion on, you know what I'm saying, what I think lies about the homie Get Out. Oh, um, my mama, mama, give me one second. And um, here we go. Hold on. If y'all feed nothing with the whole idea of doing the reactions, give me some flames in the comments. Let me know because I'm interested in getting that going for these independent artists. I would love to have this platform where um, we could provide that type of exposure. However, I need to make my boy known right now who we finna review your music and any potential future um, people that might approach us with that proposition. I am going to play your record right now. However, once we're done with this wake and bake session, if YouTube gives me a copyright notice based on um, your content because you monetize it, I'm going to have to either, either mute it, delete it, or something in order to keep my things in order correctly. So if they I don't get any copyright, then it'll be up. And we'll, I'll give you a clip of this segment of my review. I, I respect you, appreciate you for just respecting and appreciating my um, opinion on my mama mama. So uh, let me say cuz, I showed it to y'all, but let me say it. Uh, this uh, DBR Mac Dollars, Dollar Boys, walk, walk them down, official video. Uh, yeah, if y'all feeding up with it. We want flames in the uh, comments. If y'all don't feed up with it, give me some thumbs down. That's what he asked for. In a lot of ways, just because he was comfortable asking for it and want to get that type of feedback, it might mean he's ready. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, um, my, 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 DBR, Mac Dallas. Keep it at Google. Y'all already know I'm an MC lyricist. So me, introduction, being involved in this industry and this game from inception was all about lyrical content. Way before it was about production, it was about what was coming out of individuals' mouth. And um, 
I had, in order to impress me, you had to be able to impress me before we got to the studio, before we had a beat. So I just want to state, first of all, the generation gap. And just on a personal level, not my type of music. However, with that being said, just being objective and judging, the climate of the industry and what's popping and things that I've heard that I've kind of like been fond of, not fond of, that offbeat style is in place. So without me saying if I like that style or not, I can give an assessment on different elements of that style or different people that participate in producing that style. What I appreciate, appreciate about his style within that offbeat style is that multi-syllables, the energy, the beat is grimy, it's not happy. I like the visual because it looks definitely independent, but it looks professional, crisp, clean. Although it doesn't look like it was expensive, it doesn't look cheap. Um, it looks like he's not playing with the game. So my overall assessment, if I had to keep it to Google was, keep going, bro. Oh, my, 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 my favorite music is not necessarily the most pop popular, lucrative music these days. So I know how to sit back and know what I love personally. And this is what's my favorite. Even that type of music might not be the most popular, lucrative music these days. I know how to look and see, okay, my favorite is not popping. This is what's popping. So with, with, even if that's not my type, within that genre, let me take a look and see what I think about this versus that. And if I had to give you any advice upon should you not or should you continue your push and your smash, smash on, young one. The marijuana thing continues. Don't let nobody stop you. What I see in being successful these days, you have that. And then some on my mama mama. So don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. That's what I want to say to the young homie. I'm going to give y'all his handle, his info one more again where y'all can tap into him. Plus, y'all being heard the cliche, the industry is what? 10% talent, 90% business. That is such the truth. But once you get your business, if you have equal business in place, that's when talent comes into consideration. You have two equally successful business campaigns, then you can assess the talent. Up until then, the successful business campaign will always outbeat the talent. So from just a business standpoint and an independent up and coming artist standpoint, you will head to the game, homie. Stay with that energy. Stay building upon it. Getting better is always um, in the um, cards for anybody that considers themselves an artist or anyone that's in the public. Anytime you're not growing, you're dead. Life is all about growth. You're never grown. You're always growing. Anytime you've reached fully grown before you've actually stopped breathing and you've actually become amongst the living dead because life in its essence in itself is completely totally all about growth snake with that puzzle big shout out to my nigga spi spotter low you know i'm in the black box had to come through tap in show love one time yeah y'all make sure y'all subscribe stay tuned black all box right. production black box, black box, black box, black box.